So patients with damage to the medial temporal lobe, you know, the hippocampus and some other regions that are linked to the hippocampus and formed a network on the medial aspect, the middle aspect here uh, of the temporal lobes, um, suffer from what's known as amnesia. You know, as uh, HM, patient HM, Henry Meliasson, um, did. So uh, in order to sort of model, you know, aspects of amnesia and explore the relationship between, you know, structures in the medial temporal lobe, like the hippocampus, for example, and the symptoms of amnesia uh, that were exhibited by HM. Remember the loss of declarative memory, uh, the loss of explicit memory, but the preservation uh, of procedural memory or implicit memory. You know, HM could trace, you know, a mirror image, you know, basically, um, you know, initially when he was learning how to do that, he, um, you know, uh, didn't do very well, like none of us would. Uh, but with practice and repetition, he improved at this implicit skill. And yet he, after, you know, following his injury, he, um, or his surgery, you know, he didn't um, remember any of the individual sort of learning events and experiences. Um, so uh, he has preserved implicit memory, but a loss of explicit or declarative memory. So one animal kind of model, you know, one, one sort of task that's used to investigate uh, amnesia and better and more clearly explore the relationship between specific brain regions like the hippocampus, for example, um, and, you know, declarative memory or explicit memory is something called the delayed non-match to sample task or the delayed matching to sample task. So um, basically the, the experimental setup is as follows. Let's say there's a primate, like a macaque, right? Uh, on one side of a screen and you can lower and raise the screen, right? So it could see what's put in front of it. There are two wells that are put in front of the macaque um, and they are, you know, basically uh, a food reward, like a food pellet or something is put under, put in one of the wells. And then a card is placed on top of that that has uh, like an image uh, on it, like a cross, let's say. Um, and that's the sample card. So the monkey is, you know, shown this, looks at it. You know, one of the wells is covered with a sample card of a cross. It lifts it up. You know, it gets the reward. Yay, it's got food, right? And then they close the screen on, you know, the macaque. Um, and then there's a delay period. If you have a short delay, like only, you know, nine or 10 seconds or something like that, well, you know, you're gonna, the monkey's gonna be using working memory, right? Frontal lobe regions that are important for, you know, maintaining in mind and manipulating in mind, you know, the fact that that cross is associated with the food, right? But if you wait longer, some of these other memory systems, including, you know, the hippocampus medial temporal lobe need to come online, need to be engaged, you know, in order to uh, allow for recall later. You can test this with the delayed, you know, either matching to sample. So then, you know, when you raise that screen the monkey can now see the two wells covered by two cards. One of them is the original sample card of the cross and one is something new, let's say like a star. In the matching to sample version of this task, they've got to go for the cross, right? They got to go to the, the, the card that matches the sample in order to get, you know, the food reward. Uh, but in the non-match to sample, they have to go for the star, the one that was not there, you know, at the beginning covering the food. Um, and it turns out that animals with hippocampal medial temporal lobe damage um, are impaired in this task rather significantly at longer delay periods. Um, you know, short delay periods, um, you know, working memory, frontal lobe regions that are essential for working memory, you know, remain intact and they're able to complete the task. But at longer, you know, delay periods, like we're talking, you know, 15 seconds, 60 seconds, you know, 10 minutes, things like that, um, their performance drops significantly, indicating, um, as in HM, right, and other patients with amnesia, that damage to the medial temporal lobe and hippocampus can impair uh, declarative or explicit or episodic memory uh, and they can't do well on this delayed non-matching or matching to sample task.